gonna tell you why ARMY is the scariest game on the 2018 schedule and all that's coming up after the bumper. What do you mean oh. you don't subscribe to my son's YouTube channel? Mama, no! Just snap the damn ball, RJ. What's up, kid folks? It's RJ Young. I am not on a step mill. If this is your first time here, consider hitting the like and subscribe button because I upload a video every single day. It's always OU related, college football related, sports related. We have a good time. All right, ARMY scares the hell out of me. I'm not ashamed to say it. There are lots of good reasons as to why, and we're going to jump into those reasons right now. At the top of the list is they run the flex bone. Which is the wishbone if it was coached by Winifred Sanderson? Seriously, variations of this offense feels like they've been around since the Salem Witch Trials, and they've been just as effective. The Black Knights run a black magic offense. They run the ball. They run the ball a lot. They might pass the ball 10, 20 times in a game. The game plan is to use the flex bone to outfake, outblock, and outrun everybody they play. Now you might know that Jeff Munkin led Army to a 10 and 3 season last year with its only losses coming to Tulane, North Texas, and Ohio State. That means Army has put together two back-to-back -back winning seasons, running a variation of the same offense Paul Johnson has been successful with at Georgia Tech and before that Navy. It uses the quarterback, the fullback, and the two slot backs, which are something like wide receivers, tight ends, and running backs all melded into one fierce back to force you to make it one-on-one -on -one football. This is what Bill Snyder does best at Kansas State. He makes it so that it is your one guy versus his one guy, and he bets that his one guy can beat your one guy more often than not. That is option football in a tightly bound thought. What's so scary about Army, though, is that they're getting good and getting good in a hurry. They know what they're going to do. They know that you know what they're going to do. They just say they're going to execute better than you. And that is why I'm terrified of Mike Stoops' defense having to match up with this offense. Because it really says you have to not get out of position and you have to wrap people up and put them on the ground. You have to play sound discipline defensive football. They try to take your talent out of the game and see if you have skill. Talent is natural God-given ability. Skill is fundamentals and technique. I know of lots of talented football players who ain't very skilled, and I know lots of skilled football players who ain't very talented. The skilled guys beat the talented guys more often than not. Just check Army's 10-win record. And if you take out that blowout loss to Ohio State, they were seven points from going 12-1. and one. Now, the thing that helps Oklahoma the most is Army loses its best player in Ahmad Bradshaw. Ahmad Bradshaw was the Black Knights' quarterback. And bruh, was he ever filthy. Carried the ball 242 times for 1,746 yards. That's seven yards per carry. But the next three guys behind him in rushing yards all averaged five yards per carry or better. They know how to run the football. And for Oklahoma, this game comes after. We play Florida Atlantic, UCLA, and Iowa State. All big games on the schedule. Florida Atlantic is an 11-win team. UCLA is coached by Chip Kelly. And we know how that option attack gives everybody problems. And then we got history with an Iowa State squad that returns a David Montgomery who's a sexy pick for all Big 12 performer. All of that before we got to play the Black Knights who, by the way, are friggin' American soldiers, man. They And not just soldiers, they're West Point students. That means they are being trained to lead the best goddamn military in the world. It's hard as hell to get into there. It's harder to play football and go there. But again, you have men preparing to go to war who play football for fun. That should terrify everybody. I don't know about you, but when I see a football player, I see a guy that wants to go play in the NFL, which is great and hard. Student athlete who could do everything, who's today's example of a Spartan warrior. Mike, have the boys ready to play. Otherwise, we're going to be staring at a long day of chopping wood and eking out a win. All right, that's it for me. Deuces. <laughs>